Yes, patients do fail to get relief with stem cell and PRP therapy. Our failure rate's probably somewhere between 15 and 20%. If you're at a stem cell therapy and you're hearing 90 to 100% effective rates, you should consider that to be a red flag and, and probably get a second opinion before you go to that provider. One of the ways we try to minimize our failures here is by using image guided therapy. So if you're getting an injection, you're going to you're going to have ultrasound or fluoroscopy while you're getting the injection so that we know that your cells are going to the place where they need to go. We also use a very comprehensive approach to treating the spine, treating your knee, treating your shoulder. It's not just one needle. It's multiple treatments going to multiple structures, treating all of the places that you need in order to get better. We're not going to be scratching our head thinking that we missed a spot because we've treated everything that you need treated. And that's one of the ways that we try to reduce the chance of failure with regenerative therapies.